wondered how Rapunzel's hair never got tangled when Flynn climbed up? Could it be a magical knot? Let's dive into the not-so-simple world of knots. You see, knots aren't just for tying your shoelaces or making friendship bracelets. They're like secret agents working behind the scenes in various fields like sailing, climbing, fishing, and crafting. Each knot has a unique skill set, making it perfect for different kinds of secret missions. Take the square knot, for example. It's also known as the reef knot, and it's like the apprentice of the knot world. It's tasked with joining two ends of a single line to bind something, but like an over-eager rookie, it's not particularly secure and can slip under heavy loads. So if Rapunzel used a square knot, Flynn might have had a much shorter adventure. Remember when the Incredibles had to tie up the bad guys? They might have used one of these knots! First up, we have the Sheet Bend. This knot is like the superhero of knots when it comes to joining two ropes of different thicknesses. Imagine Mr. Incredible trying to tie together a thin, flexible rope and a thick, sturdy one. A simple knot wouldn't do, right? But the sheet bend comes to the rescue, creating a reliable bond that's easy to untie even after a heavy load. It's like the perfect team-up between Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl. Next, we have the double sheet bend. This knot is like the upgraded version of the sheet bend. Think of it as the sheet bend after it's had a power-up. It's used for the same purposes as the sheet bend. But when the going gets tough and the loads get heavier, the double sheet bend steps in. It's like when Dash and Violet join their parents in a fight, adding their unique powers to the mix and making the team unbeatable. Finally, we have the figure eight knot. This knot might not seem like a big deal, but it's actually a lifesaver, literally. It's a stopper knot that prevents ropes from running out of retaining devices. Picture Dash running at super speed, only to find the road ahead disappearing. A quick figure eight knot on a rope can be the difference between a nasty fall and a safe stop. Plus, it's the foundation for many other climbing knots, just like how the Incredibles family values are the foundation of their team. Each of these knots has its unique strengths and uses, just like our favorite superhero family. Whether it's the adaptable sheet bend, the enhanced double sheet bend, or the reliable figure eight knot, each knot has a role to play. So if you ever find yourself in a sticky situation like the Incredibles, remember these knots. Do you think Woody from Toy Story could have used the timber hitch to drag a log or secure a heavy toy? Let's find out! In the world of knots, the clove hitch is a real quick draw. It's used to hitch a rope to a post faster than Woody can say, yee-haw. It's easy to adjust, but keep in mind, like Woody's hat in a tornado, it can slip if it's not under constant tension. Next up, the timber hitch. Woody could have used this handy knot to drag a log or secure a heavy toy wagon. It tightens under strain, but is easy to release once the tension is gone just like Woody releasing bullseye's reins after a wild ride. And lastly, the fisherman's knot. You might not see Woody fishing in the movie, but this knot is a favorite among anglers. It's used to secure the line to hooks, lures, or swivels. It's so sturdy, even a shark like Bruce from Finding Nemo couldn't break it. Remember, a knot well tied can be a toy's best friend. Did you ever wonder how Elsa from Frozen could have climbed the icy mountains? She might have used the Prusik knot. In the world of climbing, the Prusik knot is a climber's best friend. Picture this, Elsa, Queen of Arendelle, ascending the icy peaks of the North Mountain, her climbing rope securely fastened with a Prusik knot. This knot is a friction hitch that can slide up or down a rope, but it grips firmly when weight is applied. It's like a loyal snowman always there when you need it and ready to support you, no matter how steep the climb. But knots aren't always reliable. Take the grief knot, for instance. It's like a mischievous snowflake, misleading and unreliable. It's what you get when you attempt to tie a square knot, and it goes wrong. Imagine Elsa using a grief knot to secure her ice palace. It would surely slip, causing a bit of a chilly disaster. In the adventurous world of rock climbing or ice climbing, the water knot comes in handy. It's used to join two ends of webbing together securely. 
Imagine Elsa using a water knot to tie up her ice sled before a thrilling ride down the mountainside. Now that's a knot you can trust. Finally, let's talk about the Alpine Butterfly Knot. This knot is like the magical powers of Elsa, creating a secure loop in the middle of a rope without needing access to either end. It's useful for bypassing a damaged section of rope, much like how Elsa bypasses any obstacles in her path with a wave of her hand. Every knot, like every character in Frozen, has its unique traits and uses. Choosing the right knot is crucial. Just like choosing the right path or making the right decision is crucial in Elsa's icy adventures. So whether you're climbing icy mountains like Elsa or just hanging out in your backyard, remember the power of knots. And here's a question for you. Can you imagine a knot that could be used to tie up a snowman? Think about it and remember daily 10 minutes with Lavis Creations will do wonders for you. Bye from Lavanya G.